It's Wednesday, 10.30. Dodger just, oh, oh, they, everybody knows. Dodger just won the World Series. I didn't want to kill it for you guys. I felt like I was going into the future. <laughs> That's how tired I am right now. Eddie's here, Isaiah's here. Ozzy just left. We're exhausted and we're grinding. Stay tuned. So we had to find the only piece of two by four we had in this whole place because we only have metal and absolutely nothing. So we're guessing that we can compress this fork with the weight of the lift. So we just bam, 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 run some bolts and we're hoping that this is gonna compress it because it's got about a foot to go to get that spring compressed in there. Should be good. And if it's not good, hopefully, as long as I don't lose my face, if it, as long as this doesn't rip and throw it into my face, then we're good. And it doesn't hit this. It can hit this, because I don't want this to hit my face, okay? But other than that, we're got, we gotta do it, okay? We gotta do it. We gotta compress the spring about yay much. You go. Pet and pending, okay? We're just going straight to the caliper mount with some big, big boy bolts. We guesstimated where all these holes were at. Eyeballed them. You know, let's just uh, see what happens. Pretty good eyeball. I mean, I don't know what to say right now. We're on a time crunch. Dave just got here. We're gonna get some colors on this kit. We're going three colors. How are you feeling, Dave? We can do this. We'll get it done in three quarters of a day. Three quarters? Okay. Maybe. Half. All day. All day. All day. All right. <laughs> Yeah, well, all, all day it is. We're gonna get back to it. Stay tuned. User friendly, see? So we're just gonna, I mean, I think we just keep it there. This is gonna be part of the lift. We're gonna talk to Black Widow about adding this addition called the. Uh, yeah, I feel like these lifts are fine, but there's so much extra space that we could use them for tools. Like, why don't we need like a little big vice right there? They can have little strippers, maybe even a little thing with measuring. So you could be like, oh, what size is this? Oh yeah. We're working on it. We'll work on the list next. I, I personally don't think that the red matches anything in this shop. Mike's being lazy to disassemble this and send him out to powder coat. I don't know why he's waited this long. And I'm just saying this and this is not us, okay? How are we using things that don't, they're all missy matches? But facing didn't work. <laughs> when you're upside down, it goes that way. And we need to fall down this way to reach. We're just like, oh, it's like right there. Four days. About four days, yeah. We're gonna clear 13 pieces, sand 13 pieces. And we're gonna clear 13 pieces. And then we're gonna sand again. Should I say wet sand? And then we're gonna buff them. Am I stressed out? Nah. Got a lot of anxiety though, that's for sure. Too much, too much anxiety. I wanted to be over with it. Good Dirtbags family, another month down, another successful swap meet. Season's getting near an end, but we do still have a lot of parts. We're probably gonna be back out to next month's swap meet, but if there's something you need, we might have it. We have the wizard Dave over here whipping up some colors. We don't even talk, we just think, and like he can read my mind, and then the color gets spit out right now. Ooh, no, no words are, are being said. This is how long we've been working together. We've been working together for so long that he don't even know we were working together. That's how long ago it was. I, I got it now. Right out of the can, guys. Look but at that. But just not, just stand by, you know? This was, was in my head, but then I figured it was going to be too bright, so we threw some white in it, and it kind of like turned like too purple for me. So I'm going to go with this bright ass color, because the bike's already extreme, so I might as well just continue and make it go insane. I didn't want the two pinstripes to match. This one's going to be like a purple uh, white, so I felt like it was going to be too much in the spectrum. So we go bright, we go crazy. You go home. What do you think? I think you have a box to open. 
There's yeah. a box here? That's more important than Yes, it's here. All right, guys. Now, as you already know, I did a collab with Upper Carbon slash 48 Speed Shop, and they did me a solid and took my creation. I've been waiting on this for a very, very long time, even though we are four days, three days, I don't know, something like that, away from SEMA. You already know that we had a certified, but we need the cherries on top over here. Our back fender. God, look how beautiful that looks. Our fender to the next level. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Can I start on it? Yes. Fresh out two inches. Integrated turn signals. Fresh carbon. Beautiful. Man, look at this. Look at that tip. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hold one more thing before I give it to you. Look at that. And then the license plate slides in between that slot right there, in and out. But I thought everybody's bike did that. Huh? Huh? Mm. Gonna go ahead and get a drop shadow, and we're gonna go ahead and get a pinstripe, and then hopefully get cleared with the first session of the other stuff. feature where you could have someone pick up or drop off a package that is awesome so I had to send out some parts right now instead of me stopping what I'm doing leaving the shop possibility there's something going wrong you don't have time for that I paid seven bucks this guy is gonna come pick Oscar Oscar's coming over here and his Nissan Versa he didn't take care of this problem for me for seven dollars that's the best seven bucks I ever spent is like Oscar like technically an employee now because he's like doing work over here at Dirtbags? Let's find out. How's it going, Oscar? How you doing, bud? Good, how about yourself? Great, man, can't complain. There's like a little body shop that you're gonna pull up on right now. Okay. It's for Henry. Henry, okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks, All bud, right, cool. appreciate it, have a good one. This is top secret over here, guys. Can't show you this yet. Can't show you yet, but it's coming. It's coming. We have some exciting news, guys. Some new friends in the industry decided they wanted to be cool and hang out with dirtbags. So what they did, they sent us over something real small to get the ball rolling. And we appreciate it, guys. Any support from us to become official family. So, we're gonna shout out our new family member, our buddies over there at AGV. It's part of the dirt bag team now, guys. I have something nice that's gonna be on my head during SEMA, riding down the parade, and eventually we're gonna match the CVO. AGV, thanks for looking out guys. Definitely gonna be rocking this and looking forward to customizing it to my bike. Oh, there's a release button. It is that fancy. Even like the glass, how it clicks is really nice. It hugs my head really good too. That's a larger or medium? This is my size, okay? This is my size. Don't worry about what size this is. Don't even look at it. Don't even touch it, all right? Don't even look at it, don't touch it. Don't you have some work to do? What are you doing next to me right now? Working. Look at how nice this is. I'm just gonna get out and say it. Like, I put some helmets on and they were so damn loud, it was ridiculous. It got louder in my helmet. And I think you know who I'm talking about. I'm not gonna say no names, but AGV, good looking out guys. Check this out. Oh, 
all these washers that nobody ever wanted to do. All the little pieces that we needed. These are beautiful. What are you doing, bro? Right here, buddy. Right here, trying to work. This is what we needed to build the rest of the, the turbo. We took a original cam cover, drilled it, welded it for the oil line. Look at that. Very nice. Look at that. Custom culture. We received a package from Spain yesterday and they were raw. 24 hours. We had a mask coat it back at the shop ready for install reliable powder coating custom culture these are the best in the market right now and the best powder coaters they knock it out very very pleased with the outcome it's like flawless oh my goodness can't wait to get that on the bike you already know we're running speed dealer on this bike we're going with a six piston rear caliper so we had to get a whole mount done vertical cycles came through knocked it out looks incredible it's gonna hold this big ass caliper on the bottom as so like this look at that very nice very nice can't wait to see that install does it match the inside of the dash oh. the match the inside of the dash on how far it flies it comes out like the thickness of it well the dash is so small it's not gonna go out thick at all that's what she told you Looks good. About time you do something, right? Hurry up. Alright, so we just got it back from Powder Coat. It looks amazing. But we need to make it more detailed. I've seen this on TikTok. I figure I can do it, or they can do it. Three hours later. I kind of see it coming through finally. That looks it nice. Once we clean it, put a little bit of polish on the middle. Look good. Almost there. The lines get a little thinner through the middle because fins are not really even, so I can't get this in there like I want it. So this piece is done. Got the drop shadow, got striped. We're gonna go ahead and get this in the booth. We have two more parts that are coming. Then we're gonna get the first clear session. That's gonna take about an hour and a half. Then we're gonna do another clear session with the bigger, bigger parts. I'll be here till like 9.30. Went home and cuddled up in his bed, all nice and warm, surfing Instagram and TikTok reels. I was up here working, figuring out this full turbo system. Did I read instructions? Definitely not. Did I take it apart four or five times? Of course. But doesn't it look great? I made sure all the little nuts and washers and everything that goes on it are not seen. Heat shields still go on it and it is coming out amazing i really really like it, the outcome the engine is built as well we've been putting it down shouts to dave too he stood here with me till like about 12 30 last night pinstripe and everything i was putting together this turbo i'm gonna have eddie wire this thing up oil lines and then torque it down from the front to the back i think we got to move this right here i could slide it back and forth for the oil line that three turn i got to make sure that that's proper location and then we could torque it down because i don't want this hose to be sticking out all far right here i want to tuck it in really nice i'm applying pressure on everybody we're still waiting on a couple things i'm not gonna say no names but they need to hurry because we need to build this bike we only have a couple days left <laughs> First clear session's done. We got basically all the small parts, side covers, front fairing skirts, center dash. The one-off 
windshield that we made here. So we're gonna go ahead and get this all sanded, get it re-cleared and then buffed. We got the other session going, like I said, with the bigger part, pull that out. Hopefully this will be sanded while that's already dried. Put that stuff back in there. Another clear session. Sand this stuff, well, the stuff that's coming out. You know what I mean, but yeah. yeah. We got a lot of work to do. We're almost there though, right? Yes, sir. Yesterday, Mikey was doing some grinding or some sanding and his hands were all black yesterday, so. Your hands clean today? Yeah, I'm SAS, only the best. Buenos días, aquí estamos en los Estados Unidos, en Dirtbags, California. Mira, tiene un turbo, whoosh, whoosh. Eh, breaky, brick, brick, eh, no crash, si, ¿Sí? eh. Alambre, uh, adelante. No llanta. ¿Dónde está llanta? Uh, too short. Uh, me, too short. Te quemas. You know? So, uh, space. We put space. A uh, uh, Mikey Loco le gusta grandes. Le gusta. Pero, <laughs> pero, pero le pega. Le pega, pow. No, no bueno. No bueno. Uh, bonito? Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Custom. Custom uh, holes. Custom holes. <laughs> Mighty Loco le gusta los custom hosts. Eh, le pega. Uh, spacer. Yes. Muy bonito. Mighty Loco needs to go pick it up. This more more this way, okay? This one come more this way. Uh, touch. A uh, touch. You know, touch. Las piernas are there. I put here. Handlebar riser. They make custom for you. Wheel? Wheel oh no. It's, 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 it's uh, almost done. That's almost done. That's the cherry on top. Our full build badges. The bike came out beautiful. I have Max going to do the final wipe down in detail. And the customer is picking the bike up today. It's going home. I love this motorcycle. I wish it could stay and hang out, but they have to leave sometime. Tell me what you guys think. Those are the I am the dad 3000s. These are the I have three days to build a motorcycle shoes. My back hurts so bad, or my leg. I fell off of a ladder like about two months ago and I really hurt my leg. I don't know, like I feel like I damaged something inside of this leg. So it's been really, really hurting on my vans every day, standing up for 15 hours a day. I don't know, man. I feel like you're transitioning, bro. How old are you? <laughs> Get out of here, bro. You're what? About yeah. 40 soon? These are the, I'm gonna whip your ass in SEMA shoes right here. That's what those are. I'm gonna bring the heat shoes right here. I'm gonna be so damn fast shoes right here. See, these are the I'm working hard 3000s right here. Those are the stick them in your butt and then wipe your ass shoes right 3000s. Those things look bad. I gave you like six pairs of shoes to wear so you could look cool in the booth and you still wear them beat up ass things. They were too good to just those shits look like some Make-A-Wish Crocs. <laughs> we got everything cleared again. We had four coats, two wet, two double. We want to make sure we stacked up that clear on the pinstripe. So we're going to let this dry. I'm going to start sanding the other stuff that's outside. And then while I'm sanding that, this is gonna cure and kick off. So hopefully within the next two to three hours, I'll be done sanding that stuff. Pull this stuff out, bring that stuff back in, have another clear session, and then that stuff will be the final clear. So I'll make sure to really pamper that stuff, come in, clean the booth, everything again. And then put this stuff in the racks neatly so that no one touches it because like I said, it's still fresh. Three days away, well technically four, but I technically have two days. The math ain't adding up, but we're making it work. Oh, so I was at reliable powder coating right now, and they're like, are you stressed out yet? And I'm like, you know what? My adrenaline is starting to slow down a little bit. My anxiety is starting to sl slowly go down. 
then I get a phone call from the shop saying that the paint booth exhaust fan blew up. I heard it like make a funny sound yesterday and it raised a red flag, but now it makes sense because the fan went out and that's not good because we're, we're days away and we got to paint and we don't have a booth now. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to try to track down a fan right now, exhaust fan. Stop working on the bike, rip out the fan and replace it. It's gonna be like a whole day ordeal right now. Oh my God. So I had to get the pearl back off because I needed to tap this little guy in here so I could have an air gauge going on there because I didn't look like we were getting them because it's late, but they showed up today. So I had to take this back off to put that on. No big deal, we're almost done. Turbo is spooling. Eddie wants to paint this, but he wants to coat it. I was gonna leave it because we had no time. Because he's cheap. You're being cheap, Mike, is gonna be the one part not on the bike that isn't coated. I'm not cheap, I'm just being realistic over time. No, but we need to run the air right now. We need to run the whole, all the line, all kind of shit. We need to build this, not take it apart. No time for a food review, but we have time to eat. Check this out. La Taqueria. Family pack. Dad come with churros? Oh, y'all just spent all my money, huh? Ooh, I wish you guys smell. Look at them fresh churros, chips. Ooh, look at this, look at this. Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh, that one's left. <laughs> 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 mm. Oh, man. We're eating a pastor. Cheers. Good evening, everybody. Okay, maybe I forgot to drill a little hole, all right? So we had to pull the bars <laughs> off and uh, waste some time. But it is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna pop them off. While we have them off, we'll install the grips, drill the holes, run the brake line internal, and get them back on the bike ASAP. Nobody will even notice that they're off. Doing handlebars, need some help. You know that little draw string from the fan, old school from the fan three modes. Well, you get that, you tie it to some wire right there, and you drop it on the heavier side or find its way down through the bar and fall out the bottom. You are welcome, you people at home working on your own bike. I don't know if I should have showed you guys that because that is the way to do handlebars. guys it's going down next week Dory's trying to take off you guys book if you want haircuts right here in the shop he's taking on appointments as we speak and make sure you guys are commenting tell me what you think about this bike and I'll see you at SEMA Bye.